Hello again. This is the second last in this series of postures and this pose is called the child's pose. Like Vajrasana you can start by sitting on your heels, so sitting up and then fold forwards, belly comes to the thighs and then the chest and finally the forehead comes down onto the floor. The arms can be alongside the body with the palms facing up and the fingers curled naturally. Now I'm sitting up because not everybody is going to feel comfortable in that position. If you've got high blood pressure and that puts too much pressure in the head, then you can use a block or a blanket underneath the forehead. Also, if this position of sitting on the legs is irritating, you can either take the knees out to the sides or you can use a bolster or something else to go along between your legs. Yes, I've got my tortoise here. You can even stretch the arms out in front and really relax down. And other things that you can do to prevent irritation in the knees or the ankles is to put a block between the buttocks and the ankles. That tends to help to lift you up a bit, but it means that you're throwing your weight a bit further forwards. So again, you may need another block underneath the forehead. Stay here for a few breaths. And the more you can lengthen out and let the spine ease out of the lower spine, the more you can get a sense of release. For most of the other postures, I've recommended that you focus on the exhalation. But for this posture, you want to breathe very gently. And for Vajrasana, you really just want to let the breath be as natural as possible. Thank you.